one problem I had when I was learning to paint watercolor was my first wash of my painting would be chaotic. I would start to paint and then I wouldn't really know what my goal was, but I would look at the colors around the painting and switch up my colors. And I would end up painting uh, middle value and painting darks right off the bat. And I would really quickly lose sight of what I was trying to accomplish. And I was trying to make the first wash of my painting look like a finished painting. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, let's take a look at the first wash of this painting here. So the first thing that I do in my painting is I do a drawing of the scene. And once I get everything arranged how I want it to be, I wet down both sides of my paper with a sponge. And the reason I do this is because it gives me longer to work in this first wash. It keeps the, the paper wet longer and gives me more time to mix my colors and go from area to area while the paper is still wet. I think that's the most beautiful part of watercolor and of this first wash that we do is letting these colors flow together and get soft edges. And so that's a big part of what we're trying to do here in the first wash of our painting. Most of the time when I paint, 90% of the time probably, uh, maybe 80% of the time, I'm painting the sky in my first wash. And since I wet both sides of the paper, I can take my time with the sky and I know that when I get down to the horizon line and I start adding in some other colors, that everything will blend nice and softly together. And so what I'm doing here is going around and finding the local color in each of these buildings, the lightest value in each of these buildings, and letting those colors flow together. And I wanted some cooler colors near the horizon, so I'm putting those in in this wash. And I'm just working from a wet edge around the whole painting. And you can see as I get to a new section of the painting, I'm just switching my color, letting those colors just blend right together. So I try to not paint too large of an area, all one solid color. I want to mix it up a little bit. And because I've wet both sides of the paper, I have time to think about these things because I'm not in a big hurry to paint before everything dries. So I'm laying in the lightest value on the grasses here and these vehicles, moving right into this main car. And so this is one of the objectives is getting the light side of all of these objects. Painting the lighter, colors in each of these objects in this first wash. If I paint a tree and I want the shadow areas of the tree to be soft edges, it's okay to move into some of those areas in the first wash. But what I don't want to do is try to paint a finished painting in this first wash. Realize that the objective is simply to take away the white of the paper, get my local colors, paint the light side of objects, and to make sure my values are working even in this early stage of the painting and set myself up for the next phase of the painting. So there's the first wash for this painting. And here is a look at the middle values once the middle values are there. And then here's a look at the darks and the final painting. But you see that first wash plays a very important role in the entire process. Especially for these bright lit up areas, I wanted that warm local color right in my first wash. So later on when I cut around these areas, I get a real sense of light. And that would not happen if I didn't pay attention to these things all the way back at the beginning of my painting in the first wash. Like I said at the beginning, we need to remember what the goal of every stage of our painting is. So remember the goals of this first wash of your painting. You want to take away the white of the paper. You want to fill in local colors in important areas. 
you want to paint the light side of your objects and you want to think about values and you want to set yourself up for the next stage of your painting. I hope that helps give you some clarity on what your objective is in the first uh, wash of your painting. I want to mention two things before I go. First, if you are intrigued by this painting, you can follow along with me and paint this on my Patreon page. So if you go to my Patreon site and subscribe, um, this is one of the tutorials that you'll have access to. And the second thing is, if you haven't had a chance to look at my free video lesson, eight tips to avoid overworking your painting, check it out. I've loved hearing the feedback from this lesson. This is something really important that I needed to learn early on in my painting process. And I hope you find this very helpful. So if you're interested, follow the link below, or if you're on Instagram, go to my bio and follow the link there. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you next time.